Hi, this is Piano Lessons for Beginners, Lesson 1, Part 1. At the outset of this video, I'm just going to explain my aims uh, and what I'm trying to achieve with these videos. Um, basically, I could easily um, teach you, the viewer, to play different songs um, and teach you to play the songs note for note uh, as they're found on the original recordings. Um, however, my concern with doing that is that um, basically you'll just end up memorizing notes and not really understand what you're doing. Um, so, and basically I really want to create musicians rather than just people who memorize pieces. So what I want to do is I want to use um, these songs uh, as a template in order to teach you music theory so that you can really understand what's happening in the songs um, whilst you're playing them. And hopefully that'll help you to develop as a musician, maybe help to write music if you want to write music, and it'll also help you to be able to build accompaniments for yourself um, using the chords uh, for, a ba for a basic pop song. Um, so basically, uh, I'm going to begin by explaining that there are 12 keys um, in music, and a key is basically a selection of notes. Um, so if a song is in the key of C, for example, that means that it will use a certain selection of notes, and it will only use those notes. Now, that rule will be broken. Uh, uh, in music, I'm going to give you some rules. It's going to be very much like the English language, where you have rules like I before E, except after C. We need those rules to help us learn to spell, but we all know that the rules are broken uh, pretty quickly. So that rule is actually going to be broken. Um, but the basic rule is that C major or any key, if you're in the key of C major, let's say, you will only use um, the notes that are found in this in in that in that key. Um, now, uh, C major basically is a key which only uses white notes. So again, this rule will be broken, but the basic starting point is C major only uses white notes, which makes it really easy for us to begin uh, learning in. And the first few songs I, I teach you, I will only teach you in C major. Um, my hope is that it will be like learning a language um, at the moment, you know English, probably. You may not know any other languages. And if I was to teach you all 12 keys, in my mind, it would be like trying to teach you 12 languages at once. Um, and from my perspective, it's better to learn one language. And but, but this is like having never learned any languages at all, basically. So C major is your first language. And once you get really familiar with that, we can start adding a couple of new keys. Um, but you'll probably still think... Uh, as though you're in C major to start off with. So it's going to be like if you go to France and you can't speak French, um, when you say your sentences initially, you'll probably think the sentence in English and be trying to translate it as you're speaking. Um, but as, after you've been in France for a few years, if you lived there and you spoke it for a few years, you probably would start thinking in French and not be thinking in English anymore. Well, it's the same with these keys. Initially, I'm going to teach you C major. Uh, and I'm going to get you really familiar with C major. As we start learning new keys, you will start, um, you'll probably still be thinking the theory that I teach you in C major. Eventually, you'll actually be able to think in a new key. But initially, we're going to use C major as a template. As we do new keys, we're gonna, you're going to be able to refer back to what you learned in C major to help you understand the new keys. Um, so uh, the, the one thing I don't know whether I mentioned is, I think I did mention C major is just white keys. So that makes it really simple to start off with. So if you now go to part two, you can begin to learn to play um, Candle in the Wind um, by Elton John. 